everybody. Our ship is tipped this way and this way. I think we're pretty bad. Good morning again. And it is a true honor to be hosting this 46th annual Memorial Day at Rest Haven. My name is Ann Kane, and on behalf of my husband, Dwayne, and the entire staff at Rest Haven Funeral Home and Memorial Park, I want to express my appreciation for your attendance today and your commitment to helping us remember and honor all of those who have served our great country. Memorial Day is very important and special to our staff. It always has been and it always will be. I want to express my sincere appreciation to each one of the Rest Haven staff team who once again have helped make all of this happen. It's a team effort. It really is a team effort. And every task, great or small, brings value and it's noticed and appreciated. By the way, if any of you have questions or if you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask this morning. All of the Rest Haven staff have on our name tags, so speak up if you need something and welcome. I do want to express my special gratitude to Ronnie Burns, who by the way is a Vietnam veteran, and all of our grounds crew here at Rest Haven they work many, many, many extra hours to see that everything in the cemetery is just picture perfect for this special day. In addition to the extra hours and responsibilities as we begin to prepare and execute for today's event, and many of those things require their extra help. Also, my special gratitude to our marketing team who have worked literally for months planning and coordinating a meaningful event. Leslie Johnson, our COO, Nancy Starnes, our family service manager and marketing coordinator, and a very special, special word of appreciation to our event coordinator, Kathleen Plagan Evans, for hours <laughs> of attention to detail and her always enthusiastic and cheerful execution of a spectacular event. I want to thank Matthew Middleton and the Texas Drive Band for the wonderful music that we all enjoyed as we were arriving this morning. Please stick around after the ceremony part of this event for more music, entertainment, and all kinds of activities for young and old alike. And Matthew, I don't know where you are right now, but we want to thank him for his service in the United States Army. <laughs> These days, it seems that Memorial Day is all about barbecues and the retail store discounts and lounging by the pool. But at its very heart, Memorial Day is a solemn day of remembrance and recognition of all those who have served and all those who have died serving in the United States Air Force, excuse me, Armed Forces. At this time in our ceremony, we want to do just that. We want to remember and honor all who served. When I call out your respective branch of service, will you please stand and allow us to express our appreciation? We'll start with United States Army. Please stand. United States Navy, please stand. <laughs> U.S. Air Force, please stand. <laughs> the 
the U.S. Marine Corps, please stand. And the U.S. Coast Guard, please stand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, every one of you. We invite all of you veterans to please visit the white tent just to my left following the ceremony. We have some small tokens of our gratitude to share with you. You'll see some Girl Scouts over there, some Rest Haven staff and others to assist you with this. Also, under the same tent, we have flags available for any of you who have a veteran buried here at Rest Haven. If you'd like to take one and place it on your loved one's grave site, please feel free to do that. At the top of the hill behind us, just at the back of the property, in a newly completed development here at Rest Haven, you will find the word remembering, remembering, etched on a beautiful piece of granite. This morning, we're not going to be etching any granite. Instead, the goal is that we pause, really pause, to etch into our minds and our hearts the time of remembering the service and sacrifice of very courageous and unselfish men and women who have helped provide the freedoms that we enjoy and maybe too often take for granted. As Franklin D. Roosevelt said, those of us who have long enjoyed such privileges as we enjoy forget in time that men have died to win them. Over 125 years ago, on a day such as this one, May the 30th, 1891, during his remarks at a decoration day ceremony held at Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the 23rd President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, said this, I have never been able to think of the day as one of mourning. I have never quite been able to feel that half-masted flags were appropriate on Decoration Day. I have rather felt that the flag should be at its peak because those who served and those whose dying we remember and commemorate rejoiced in seeing it where their valor placed it. We honor them in joyous, thankful, triumphant commemoration of what they did. And that, my friends, is why we gather here today May we always take time for joyful, thankful, triumphant remembering of what they did. And now, if you will remain seated and direct your respectful attention as members of the American Legion, Post 117, present our memorial wreath, remembering all who serve. 